when I look at anything that's considered bad behavior, I always look at, you know, improvement on that, turning that behavior around. And just keep in mind that, um, you know, problem behaviors don't start overnight, so they're not going to be repaired or fixed overnight. It's going to take some time. If a child has learned that a certain behavior works for them, meaning it, it gets their needs met, they're going to go to that behavior time and time again because they found it works. And it only takes one time for a child to realize, okay, um, this is working in my favor. And if, if, you know, somebody else comes along and doesn't give in to their needs as quickly when they are um, pouting or crying or doing a temper tantrum or melting down, then they may push that envelope a little bit harder because they've learned that one, it worked for me last time. So maybe if I keep pushing, especially if they can tell that it's, you know, kind of, getting to you. And sometimes we can't help but to show that if we're getting frustrated, it's maybe um, something that we really don't like, or it's in the environment where the behavior really is a bad time for it to be happening. And, you know, if that's the case, then they may stomp their feet a little bit harder, scream a little bit louder. And the key to, to doing that is stand your ground and be consistent about it and don't give in because if you give in, it might stop the problem right now quicker, but it's going to be a problem for you even longer down the road. And we have to give them a, what we call a replacement behavior to get their needs met um, so that they'll stop relying on the bad behavior. Once they realize the bad behavior is not getting their way, they're not getting anything out of it, it'll stop. So it's just a matter of it didn't start overnight. We have to be consistent to make sure it stops and it doesn't continue and get worse down the road. So if you can be consistent, the great thing is, you know, just to stand your ground from the beginning. But we all know that as as parents, teachers, just as being human beings, that that is not always everything we do is not always perfect. And that's OK. We have to apply some grace for those situations and just go ahead and stand your ground next time. One thing I'm thinking about as an example is if um, if grandmother comes into town and she's excited about taking um, you know, little Hannah to Target to buy something for her. But, you know. They are very smart in stores and put everything on the child's eye level. So they want everything. You know, they don't have self-control and self-regulation yet. That doesn't come around until about the age of four. Um, again, every child's different. So it depends on the child. But, you know, they know they're going to get their excited grandma's there. And grandma may be, have a tendency to spoil a child to accommodate them because that's what grandmothers do. Um, so they may try to say, okay, only one thing. And well, Hannah wants everything. She wants five or six things. So grandma might give in, you know, she might say, well, okay. Or maybe, you know, it, mom's going on and there's some friends from church and she's like, oh, I got to get my child to stop screaming. And so she gives in just that once that child has learned from that and says, okay, next time I want something, I know what to do. So we don't give children enough credit for being so savvy, so creative, and so intuitive most of the time. And we need to give them more credit. Um, they are very observant. They know what to do to get their way. Again, they're learning about their world. So, um, you know, make sure that you sort of set that precedence and stick, stay consistent about what you want them to do. Um, you know, again, children are just trying out their world. So, um, any red flags or characteristics, I know y'all want the exact truth, so I will tell you the one thing that causes me the most concern is when children are obsessively talking or saying words about um, harming an animal or, you know, doing something like that. Um, I did have a child I worked with a few years back, and um, he was doing everything talking about I'm going to kill my parents and I'm not trying to alarm you guys, but I'm just being honest. That would be a definite red flag where you need to seek support right away. Um, it was uh, a phase this child went through, luckily, and most of the time that's what it is. Or they're watching something inappropriate, picked up on something that was on TV in the background and the parents didn't think the child was paying attention. Again, we have to really consider that they're taking everything in. They're soaking everything in like little sponges. And so we really have to pay attention to their environment, what they might be exposed to. Um, and, you know, 
know, go ahead. Early intervention is key. And we know we just need to figure out what's causing the behavior. Don't panic. If you're dealing with something that is alarming to you, um, just know that you have lots of supports that you can tap into um, and try to get lots of resources and information and go ahead and not let things slide, but go ahead and get that support in place early on, as soon as you notice something that may be of a concern to you. Um, most concerns about bad, bad behavior is what we consider to be bad behavior. And, you know, children are just experiencing life. So we just need to make sure that we put all the supports in place and there's lots of supports to be in place. So just reach out and don't ever worry about that. Um, people like Sherry and I really want to be of support and offer you information and tips and tricks and strategies so that you don't have to panic. You don't have to worry about um, worrying so much about your child. We can help you through that. And there's lots of other avenues and agencies out there that want to do the very same thing. So utilize us, utilize those support systems. And then you won't have to worry so much about bad behavior because we can sort of, you know, help you focus on the right path with that child.